How's it going, fellow Detroit Red Wings fans? So, obviously, the Red Wings have been one of the more unsuccessful teams in recent NHL history, behind only maybe the Buffalo Sabres. Missing the playoffs for six consecutive years after making the playoffs for 25 seasons straight. A lot has changed since then. Aged veterans Zetterberg and Cronwall both retired. Core players like Thomas Tatar, Gustav Nyquist, and Peter Morazic were traded away and young promising prospects like Evgeny Svechnikov, Anthony Mantha, Denis Jalowski, Andreas Anthesiu, and others tried to become mainstays on the Red Wings roster, but left Hockey Town in deals that will help them and the team. Needless to say, it's been a long, rough ride. The only players left from that 2016-17 season is Dylan Larkin and Danny DeKaiser, who has been rumored to not be returning next season. Tyler Bertuzzi also played the season the streak ended, but it was for only 7 games. With lots of draft picks since then, a total of 11 in 2017, 10 in 2018, 11 in 2019, 12 in 2020, 8 in 2021, and in this year's draft we have 10 selections as well. And we haven't even started to see the players Eisenman has drafted. Currently, only two players on the Red Wings roster have been drafted by Stevie Y, Lucas Raymond and Moritz Seider. And if there's any sign as to what's to expect when it comes to his prospects, then we aren't going to have to worry about the playoffs, more likely whether or not we are bringing home the Stanley Cup that year or the next year. All joking aside, the Red Wings have a lot of prospects and potential brewing in the system, and I'm sure we will see more of Eisenman's prospects take over the roster next season. With Albert Johansson, Elmer Soderblom, Emil Vero, Simon Evanson, and Cross Hannes all looking like they'll be playing in either Grand Rapids or Detroit next season. If you want to know more about our prospects, we just made a top 15 video that you can check out as well. But the important question for the Red Wings, at least for the last couple of seasons, has been when are we making the playoffs? I know last offseason, lots of Red Wings fans said that we might be able to slip into the postseason this year, but the 2022-23 season should be the season we actually aim to make the playoffs. So, with that being said, does it look like the Red Wings will make the postseason this year? Is that what Detroit's front office is looking to do this season? But, before we get too far into today's video, I want to give a shout out to Steven JB. We have had tremendous support from you guys, and we want to thank you guys for making the Red Wing Nation community a community. So, if you want to get a shout out, Make sure you subscribe and join lots of other great fans of this team and sports. Well, the biggest indicator that the team is ready to compete for their first playoff berth since 2016 is the fact they actually started the season above a .500 win percentage. And even heading into the halfway point of the season, they were hanging around a .500 win percentage. This was all without one of our better forwards, Jacob Vrana, who is out with injury, and leaning on rookies Marit Seider and Lucas Raymond to play far better than their age. It wasn't until the second half of the season that we started to see the wheels fall off the train tracks. And it makes sense. Seider was heavily leaned on to be the Red Wings' number one defenseman, and it's just his rookie season. The wear that comes with that responsibility, night in, night out, especially over 82 games, is a lot. Same goes for Raymond. The 82 game schedule is by far the most pro games he's played in the season. Not to mention once it became clear that the Red Wings won't be competing for a playoff spot, or at least weren't close enough to reason trading prospects and or picks for current NHLers, they sold a lot of players like Nemestikov, Nicoletti, and Troy Stetcher at the trade deadline. And then players like Dylan Larkin had to end his season early due to injury. However, come this fall, you will see a new and rejuvenated roster a Marit Seider, Lucas Raymond, and Alex Nedeljkovic that are more experienced and ready for a full 82-game schedule. A Tyler Bertuzzi, Dylan Larkin, Jacob Vrana, Pia Suter, and Robbie Fabry that are in great shape and ready to start the long journey to make the postseason. Not even to mention all of these great prospects, potential free agents, and trades this offseason that will be fighting to make the NHL roster and only make this team more competitive. But the biggest and definitely game changer for the Red Wings and should be the signal that the Red Wings front office is ready to aim for the postseason is this fall we will have pretty much an all new coaching staff, including the head coach. 
Last month, news broke that the Red Wings will not be re-signing Jeff Blashill. While you can say what you want about him as a coach, Blashill was a very good person and character. He was really the best person to lead this team through the nightmares of the previous seasons. Many Red Wings fans considered him to be the stopgap coach until they were ready to compete for the playoffs. I think there was some hope he could become our coach for the nightmares and the dreams, but when the team fell off the train tracks, it became clear that Blashill is not our guy. Eisenman has said he's not looking for one kind of coach in particular, and will be talking to a lot of coaches with different levels of experience coming from different levels of hockey. Whether or not the coach they bring in makes the team explode and maybe revitalizes the special teams that has been horrendous for a while now, this should be the biggest indicator that Eisenman may not be selling at the trade deadline and could look to find some high-end players in free agency this offseason. So to circle back to the question, are the Detroit Red Wings making the playoffs next season? To be honest, I don't know. There are so many factors related to prospects and player development, free agency, injuries, it's almost impossible to tell. I will say that the team the Red Wings ice this fall will probably be better than the one they had the last time they made the playoffs in 2015-16, and far better than previous versions of this team. They will have the best chance to make the playoffs in a long time. And if I was a betting man, I would be betting on them making the playoffs. What do you guys think? Are the Detroit Red Wings playoff bound? Are they going to have one more losing season? Let us know down below. Red Wing Nation was designed and created to be a community for Red Wings fans that can come together and talk about all things Red Wings. If you like this video, make sure you drop a like. That way you make more content that you like. If you like this channel, make sure to check out our store and get a Detroit jersey. All money made from that store goes to supporting the channel and making better content for you. And lastly, if you are a Red Wings fan, if you are a hockey fan, if you are just a great person, make sure you subscribe and join this wonderful community. And until next time, lights out in the red light district.